Hey, welcome to book number four. Just getting over that snafu. Just getting over that snafu. So, that snafu was, uh, I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to use Audacity, and I was like stuck super far back, because I had a thought in my head, and I wanted to get it out, and it's going to be the book four edition of getting that thought out while you got it. Because I was going to go over and flip through that box of books that I was talking about earlier because it's staring right at me. And I was like, I'll go find the best idea to share and we'll talk about it. And uh, the stepping away from the microphone would completely push me away from the what's happening here, which is the actual creative process. So there's the researching and the development, uh, flipping through and looking for the best of the best. And then there's the just going out and doing and the constructing and the building and the thing that you're doing is something to then go back and reference and look at and, you know, get lost in later. So the initial uh, opening for this little thought is just like, you know, be sure to keep, uh, when you have an idea and if you're really proud of it, it's a beautiful gift. And if you want to save that gift, I think paper or a medium or some sort of human, um, thing is needed to construct that and bring that into life whether you want to carve it with a uh you know uh, in the back of a desk <laughs> or whatever or you know, write it on a piece of paper or type it or record it vis- vocally or whatever it's the capturing of that idea which then brings it down from whatever that uh bunch of molecules or whatever inside your head is and it offers it as a tangible gift to to everyone and I think you know the world's what it is because everyone's offered their gifts and created guitars and TVs <laughs> and couches and everything I'm looking at uh, and this little one bedroom apartment in Brentwood uh, is built off of the construction and the thoughts and that, are, that are universally shared so it's it's just important to, <laughs> to, to bring those thoughts in I think there's I just I'm a kind of pretty religious person I try to be I fake it I you know just don't doesn't mean I do anything right, but it just means I have a drive to be better, I guess. Um, so that paired with ideas, it's I like to spend time and not think and have your brain turn and reflect and, and just sit there. Like literally, I just, I don't know if you can, whoever's listening, like the last time you've actually just like stopped and sat there, like turned off the television, turn off your phone like be in nature even even if you can't be in nature like just sit there like just sit wherever you're at right now and just like stop doing whatever you're doing and yeah and just breathe (laughs) and just be happy to be alive and uh you know that's uh, it's an amazing thing to me i think uh I I enjoy being there in that place and I think I struggle with creativity a lot because you need to be going a million miles a minute and I think that quiet place that lets you relax relax and rest and go back to is is a place that is the yin to the yang I guess of the creative thought process because uh, the the ability to kind of block out all those thoughts because everybody has thoughts that stick in their head and to to take charge and to overcome those thoughts and have the decision to step back and look at each one of those thoughts and decide why you're keeping those because, you know, they're all just a select group. Like, we all sit back and we have certain things that we want to hold on to and so that that to me is a bit nuts and uh yeah so again a bit off topic i'm actually uh trying to rack my brain for where we were at <laughs> where we were at excuse me because there's uh there's just a lot of good stuff happening so um yeah you know we're just gonna we're gonna keep going with it we're gonna see where this one takes us so I can always go back and edit in a little piece of the clip that says, hey, and this is the end of the first part of that thought and build the turtle shell out a little bit more, (laughs) you know, construct it back to where it was supposed to be, if it was ever supposed to be anywhere. But, uh, but yeah, so 
it's it's a creative creative oh i know okay because i was just i was going to do something else i was like you know dude i'm tired of talking in this microphone i'm gonna go look through that box of books so oh shit we're just such simple people uh falling back onto the same the same urges but in doing that you know maybe i, I don't know how pattern creates um creativity but it does i don't know it's the same thing different over and over again i guess that's what life is so uh i guess we're all just looking for different ways to be creative with the tools that we've got so far and uh but you know it's nice that it brought me back to the thought which was jumping off of the thought (laughs) so i feel like that's a great way to polish this one up but we're five minutes in and i want to give you guys 10 minutes of material whoever you guys are uh Darcy, hey, 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 I woke up my girlfriend because I'm talking, or she's making fun of me. What's that smile for, Dars? I'm going live. I'm making four I'm books. You're thirsty? Getting a little, little water. You want to say anything? You want to use the microphone? I had, I told, I just told everyone I was going to give them ten minutes of material, and you could be a minute. Do you want to sing your song? When my ship comes in, she's a really good singer. She's making me embarrassed now a little bit because I'm, she hasn't seen me use my microphone. She's saying, what are you doing, baby? And that makes me think, like, why does she? Yeah. You want to try it? Can you hear? Yeah, you got to say something. All right. If not, I'm going to go back to chatting. I don't even know. I'm just talking. I'm just using it. I'm like six minutes in. Can you come and tell me that bad soon? No, I'm not. I'm going to talk on this. So. Yeah, yeah, I am. It's only 11. It's pretty early, and I, I set out to do something tonight, and so that's why we're here. Maybe the whole the whole world can hear my tone change. Kiss me. There you go. You're like, Darcy gets fed and kisses, so, you know. I woke up thirsty. She was thirsty, folks, so she's got herself some water. I don't even remember where we were at before, but that's the beauty of life. It comes at you, well, and it... What do you mean? What am I? I'm talking. You don't. You missed everything. You just can't just jump into the conversation. Where? But I guess you created a new conversation, and that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just in the middle of, of talking, and you're looking at me like I'm a crazy person. But I think this is what people look like when they talk in a microphone. No, thank you. Okay. Good night. That was Darcy. We'll see how that plays out uh, when we rewind it back. But. Yeah, all live right here, Brentwood apartment complex. So, she's staring at me. I'm gonna look the other way so I can focus because that's a good. I guess that's a good point. People are the biggest foundation of new ideas, and also the biggest uh, breaker of thought patterns because they're constructing their viewpoint on on addition you know other viewpoints and stuff so uh yeah so it's been about eight you have the darcy cameo i'm gonna talk to her for a second because i feel like she needs to talk to you she wants to chat or something she's just <laughs> lingering and uh i will catch you guys on the next video all right